So you open Google Analytics for reports and you see this metric, users. But then you go to another report and you see active users. And then in another report, you see total users. What's the difference between them? Let's take a look. First of all, we need to understand the difference between active users and total users. So total users basically includes all the visitors who have landed on your site and Google Analytics track them. Even if a visitor landed on the site, stayed for two seconds and then left, but Google Analytics tracked that user, that user will be included in the number of total users. However, things get trickier with active users. If we look at the documentation of Google Analytics, it says that active users are those who have an engaged session or it's their first visit. Now, if we dive into the engaged session definition, you will see that an engaged session is the one that lasts longer than 10 seconds, has a conversion event, or has at least two page views or screen views in the same session. So in other words, there are many things that can make the visitor be treated as an active user. But in the end, not all visitors will meet at least one of these requirements to be treated as an active user. In that case, the visitor will not be included as an active user, but it will still be counted in the number of total users. That's why usually in your reports, you will see that the number of total users is higher than the active users. All right, so now that we kind of understand the difference between active users and total users, what about the metric, which is just called users? Let's go to the standard reports. And here, we don't see active users or total users. We just see users. So what is it? Well, in this case, you could just hover your mouse on it and you will see that users is actually the total number of active users. And in Google Analytics 4, most of the standard reports will be showing active users. So if you want to compare user metrics between standard reports and exploration reports, you would need to compare users with active users because total users will show larger numbers. However, in some standard reports, total users might still be used. For example, here I have the events report and here I see total users. So the key takeaway here is that if you see the metric called users, most likely it is showing the number of active users. And if the metric says the word total, then obviously it's the number of total users. Or another good practice would be just to hover your mouse and read the tooltip to be sure what that metric represents. So in this case is the total number of unique users who have logged in an event. So basically anyone who has landed on your site spent at least a couple of seconds, you go on let track that visitor. So in that case, this visitor will be included in the number of total users. While in other reports like traffic acquisition, for example, the metric users is showing the number of active users. And these were the main differences between users, total users, and active users in GA4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.